My dear, elegant, and affluent ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, ring, 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 ring. Hello? Oh, Anna Bay? Yes. Sorry I used your intro, but I added the, the gentleman. You never mentioned gentleman. I added the gentleman. Yeah, I'll credit. Yeah, okay. And it's, this is Anna Bay's intro. There, I said it. All right? Okay. All right. You're so territorial. You're so territorial, girl. Meet you for coffee later? All right. Same place? Okay. Bye. So anyway, you guys... Um, Elegant and affluent, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a luxury bag and you're taking it to the restaurant and you don't know where to put the bag, you're taking it to the restaurant and you're like, ah, what do I do with my Chanel Timeless Classic Double Flap? What do I do with my Birkin 25? What do I do with my Kelly 25? What do I do with my Alma BB? What do I do with my Dionysus, what do I do with my Antigona? What do I do with my Givenchy Gucci baglets? With my Bulgari baglets? I can't put them always on the table. Sometimes the tables are too tiny. I can't always put it next to me. The chair is not big enough. I can't put it on the floor because let's face it, the bags nowadays cost a pretty penny. You don't want them to get dirty. You don't want somebody to step on them. But most importantly, while you're eating, cutting your steak up, or if you're vegan, cutting up your portobello mushroom, uh, you don't want somebody to snatch the bag from underneath you, right? So luxury bags have become so expensive that taking them out on the town has become, let's just say, an event in its own right. And those bags need protection almost as if you needed to hire a security guard just for the bag and not for yourself anymore. So restaurants are realizing this more and more, more and more. And more and more people are reporting about this, that restaurants in the gastronomy world are more and more inviting and welcoming, especially luxury restaurants where people wine and dine, wearing luxurious clothing and very expensive luxury bags, well, restaurants are being updated more and more to suit the purpose and to make it more comfy and cozy for the guests to come to the restaurants and enjoy their meal. You know, in the past, if you had a baby and a kid, you go to a restaurant, the restaurant would give you one of those, you know, kid stool chairs that you lock the kid up and they sit next to you and everybody happy. Not. Well, now restaurants are basically adding to that assortment a baby bag chair. Yes, you best believe it. The best of restaurants nowadays will be offering you the bag chair or the bag stool. Or, as the Rob Report reports, uh, many other things as well. Like, um, they say there are several different kinds of ways restaurants have offered places to store bags. Let me show you a couple of pictures. By the way, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. Subscribe to my channel. Thumb up this video if you're enjoying it. Uh, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Um, you know, there's a lot of exclusive content for my uh, patrons and members. So if you wish to spend more time with me, consider joining. Thumb up the video and let me cue in the picture. Here is an example. Alrighty. Now, this is not something that I would particularly want to do. But, um, so credit, uh, this is a Shingo, a restaurant located in Coral Gables. Uh, there you go. That's the credit of the restaurant. And uh, they give you a little wicker, a wicker, a wicker poker player. <laughs> a wicker poker player to put underneath your chair and put your bag lid in there. Now, I personally would never do that because like somebody just behind you just whoop, takes the bag while you're inhaling your portobello mushroom, ya vegan. And so then what? I have nothing against vegans, by the way. Some of my best friends are vegans. Disclaimer. Um, but so... We'll go, we'll go. I would say no to this. But this is an option that they're offering here. 
They say Miami's Lezu. I think we have the Lezu pizza. Let me see. Yes, I think this is the Lezu. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is number two, number two, number two is Lezu. There it is. We'll go, we'll go. Lezu restaurant in Miami offers hook stands that can safely stow several bags at a time. Notice that this I find interesting because you don't damage the bottom of the bag because it doesn't get scratched by some weird surface like the wicker polka playa basket. The wicker can scratch the bottom of the bag. Eh, you never know. It can break, dry up. You know what I mean? The wicker. Ugh, the wicker. But here, you're hanging it up here. So technically, you got to be careful that the stick here, however, doesn't give you color transfer to your bag, that it's not rusty or nothing. You can be very careful that the stick doesn't color transfer on your bag. But granted that, it doesn't color transfer anything onto your bag and that it's all clean. The cool thing about this is that it's mobile. So you can shift it to be next to you, a little bit more in front of you to the side. So your table is here and you're to the side. You, uh, this is to the side. And you, so you, while you're eating with the side of your eye, you always have peripheral vision of your bag. So this is something that I would say, not a bad idea, but you need a restaurant that's big enough where there's not like 50 tables clunked next to each other so that you actually have space to actually shift this little baby in the right position so you can keep an eye on your Birkin, on your $20,000 Birkin while you're having your $150 lunch. We'll go, we'll go. Steph says, this doesn't work for clutches. Well, they say clutch, you leave. Technically, you put it on the table where you're eating. But there are some big clutches out there, right? So, um, a rare steakhouse at the Encore Boston Harbor Resort has small, white, upholstered chairs that match the eatery's decor. And I read this just to touch base on your question, like, what do you do when you got a clutch? Well, some restaurants actually offer you little teeny tiny chairs, okay? Chairs that they put beside your big chair that you sit on, and then next to your chair, they put a tiny chair, and that's where you can put your clutch. Why? Because it's a flat surface. You can put the clutch on the flat surface, everybody happy. Now that's the best case scenario. Upholstered as well, we want it soft, Material, not too dark. We don't want color transfer on our bag, but also not too light. We don't want our bag to leave color transfer on their chair either. So upholstered, soft, padded little chairlets to put next to you while you're eating. I find that very, very boozy, but in a good way, because like, honestly, most of the time when I go eating, not going to lie to you guys, I have to put the bag on my lap. And then I'm super scared that I'm going to drip food all over it. So I end up usually putting the bag behind me, you know, on my chair, like behind me. But then I'm like terrified that somebody's just going to snatch it from behind me. I don't want my luxury bag to be behind me ever. Per, per, per. And just saying, so would not go, would not go. Um, now. So, well, I'm going to get to a theory that I have about the upholstered chairs in just a minute. Then they also say the shingle located in Coral Gables. Oh, sorry, the handwoven baskets. Read that one. Then, um, in other countries, bag stowage is extremely important, which may be partially driving the trend. So basically they're saying that in South America and Russia, placing your bag on the floor brings bad luck because it means that you're going to run out of money. So like in some cultures, it's a cultural thing. You can't just like expect people, you know, to come and put their bag on the floor in your restaurant. Some people come from cultures where putting a bag on the floor is considered bad luck. You got superstitious people out there. Okay, we'll go, we'll go. Everybody's different. So, but I say, sure. I would not want to put a bag on the floor. If the bag is really huge, sometimes I did make the exception of putting it on the floor because if the bag is really big, what are you going to do? In a tiny restaurant, sometimes you got to... But if the bag is not too expensive, okay. Although when I was working the fashion weeks in Paris, the amount of times I have seen rich people, buyers, or clients, whatever, with Birkins in the bars at night, Birkins are just on the floor next to them. 
on the street, on the pavement, honey. That Birkin is treated like dirt, honey. Like the dirt that it is. From dust it came and to dust it shall go. Looks kind of fabulous. Nothing like a beat of Birkin, honey, let me tell you. So then there's a restaura uh, the restaurateur, Stephen Starr, said that he's installed stands for bags at his three Miami spots. A restaurant, he is quoted to have said, a restaurant has to go beyond its food to draw in a guest. And paying attention to the details is where you can show an added level of hospitality. We don't want our guests to be distracted by small yet important details like where to hang their bag. By providing a place for your purse, we take that worry away for the rest of your time there. Very eloquent, very eloquent, live in ferret, live in ferret. But here's what I wanted to tell you. Remember a couple of weeks ago, and go check out that video if you haven't checked it out yet, because it's a very interesting video. Remember a couple of weeks ago on my channel, we spoke about the evolution of luxury going towards food and gastronomy and like all of these like luxury brands are now finding other ways to earn money off of people that are earning less money that can't afford a $10,000 bag. So they're opening restaurants. So basically Gen Z is uh, basically more into experiences, paying for an experience rather than paying for an object. So they're not going to want to buy a new bag, but Gen Z will want to buy vintage, you know, for the sake of uh, preserving the environment and blah, 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 sustainability, but they will spend money on experiences. And so these luxury brands are capitalizing on that, opening up restaurants everywhere, cafes, Airport lounges. Louis Vuitton opened up an airport lounge in Doha. Apparently Fendi did as well. Although that's a cafe. But anyway, we digress. Um, this is my thing. I'm thinking it's just a matter of time, you guys. Hear me out on this one. That these luxury brands are going to start making these padded little chairs or stools that are kind of clappable but branded for you to carry with you when you go to the restaurant to put your luxury bag on. And they're going to sell these little bag stools for a ton of money. You know, they're going to be like $2,000, $3,000. If you want your bag stool upholstered in crocodile or alligator, you're going to pay $20,000. You know what I mean? You want to bedazzle with diamonds? One million. You know what I mean? Uh, watch uh, Pharrell Williams steal this idea for his ne next Louis Vuitton show. He already did that ugly ass keep all for a hunt for a million dollars. Now he's going to do the, the the stool, the stool to carry the one million dollar crocodile diamond embellished bag on top of. But jokes aside, I do believe it's a niche, and I do believe that brands sooner or later are going to start doing this because their bags have reached such high prices at this point that they know that they have created monsters. We, the customers being the monsters, we are ready to drop a pretty penny for a luxury bag. And they have made us aware of the fact that they are so expensive that it's hard to exchange them. So now they're going to start selling us accessories to protect the bags, just like somebody else already did. I wonder who. Oh, that's right. The mobile phone industry, the computer industry. You buy a mobile phone, then they want to sell you a, a case holder for the mobile phone so that the mobile phone doesn't break if it falls down. They want to sell you a plastic sticker, whatever it's called, sheet protective screensaver, also extra money. They want to sell you an extra cable uh, to charge your phone, an extra battery to charge your phone. So I think that's going to become the future of luxury bags as well. They're going to sell you the little luxury stool that you take with you when you go to the restaurant. I know they already sell you the little luxury hooks that you can hook on a bar or you can hook on a table. I know that. But truth be told, like we were saying in the chat before, not every bag has a handle. Not every bag has um, a strap. Some bags are clutches. You're going to need a stool sooner or later.
And the luxury banks are singing all the way to the bank. Sooner or later, you're gonna be mine. You know that song? I know. I don't know how to sing, but you know that song. So, and sooner or later, we are there. It's like, we are completely victims of this, y'all. And I do believe that this is coming. Mark my words. Mark my words. The branded luxury stoolet is a coming. It's a coming. And it's not just about, and they're already selling us, the bag stuffers, the bag fillers, the bag organizers, which coincidentally, if you really think about it, I was, I've been asking myself this since years. Why haven't the luxury brands capitalized on this already? Why doesn't Dior do its own version of a uh, organizer for the bag? Why doesn't Chanel do its version of an organizer for a bag? Why doesn't, well, Hermes does have a little bit of a, something that looks like an organizer. They do those little, you know, pouches. They look like beauty case pouches with a pull string. You can use those technically to protect the inside of your bag. Sure. But they're not as sophisticated as certain brands, uh, organizers for bags are. And I've been asking myself, like, why aren't the luxury brands really pushing this to sell you all the accessories to go with your bag? Buy the little raincoat for your bag. Chanel did make those. And they did sell those a couple of seasons ago in their cruise collection. I know that Hermes gives you two plastic little raincoats with a Birkin and a Kelly, blah, blah, blah. But I'm talking about like really capitalizing on it and making them for sale. So I think this is something that the luxury brands in general are going to go into more and more in the future. When they, Because if you think about it, they'll, they'll be selling less and less bags. Why? Because they're, they're going to outprice themselves out of the ballpark. So how are they going to make their money? By opening restaurants and by selling accessories for bags. Pere. Pere. Let me know your thoughts down below. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, I've seen the Petit H, the Petit H, the Petit H Hermes bag organizer, but that was like a limited edition thing. So, you know what I mean? Uh, Jen Horace says, Coach has, LOL. I know they're not your thin, but they have been making bag organizers for their city tote. Yeah, Kev, I know that Hermes has the bag organizer, but it is kind of terrible. It looks like a little pouch, like a, you know, dust bag pouch. Um, so anyway, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. And I'm not talking about coach and, you know, I'm talking these high end players. I'm talking when Chanel sells a bag for $10,000. And then they start making bag organizers for $3,000. We're talking that level of insanity. Are we going to get there? Sooner than later, in my opinion. Let me know down below. And until next time, love you loads. Subscribe.